Thanks for coming, Pete. We want to show you something. If there's any developer out there who may be worthy of fully delivering a completely standalone AAA Venom game, then I would wholeheartedly trust no one else other than Insomniac Games. But regardless, welcome back true believers and all you spectacular Spidey fans to another very exciting Marvel Spider-Man 2 related video. Now if you have kept up to date with any of my previous Marvel Spider-Man 2 videos, which I do highly suggest that you watch if you haven't already, is that it's already been heavily teased by various people at Insomniac Games, and even the main actor who plays Venom in Marvel Spider-Man 2 of Tony Todd, is that it certainly seems like that Tony and Insomniac would be more than willing to fully develop a completely standalone Venom game. And for today's video, I will be fully breaking down what I believe to be the biggest piece of evidence yet towards this Venom game more than likely being a reality. So if you're someone like me who would be absolutely thrilled if this Venom game ended up happening, then definitely be sure to thwip that like button and subscribe to the channel for any more major Marvel Spider-Man 2 or Marvel Games videos down the line. So to get right into the swing of things is that all of this information originated from a massive post coming directly from ArtStation.com, where given that Marvel Spider-Man 2 has been out for nearly a full month at this point, this has actually allowed all the developers from Insomniac Games themselves, as well as all the artists that they collaborated with, to finally post their their entire body of work online. And if you haven't already, I would strongly suggest that you actually check out this Marvel Spider-Man 2 art blast for yourself, because there are quite a lot of awesomely detailed character models, as well as some extremely cool concept art images that do showcase a wide variety of various segments throughout the game, which might have ended up playing out a bit differently in comparison to what we got. Where most notably is that we do have these incredible concept art images from Dennis Chan, which prominently features brand new looks at Harry Osborn as Venom, whereas he is depicted in this art is that it looks like he would have had a much more human-sized scope to him becoming Venom in comparison to the bulkier version that we got in-game, which does seem fairly similar to the Venom design that we did end up receiving within the Spider-Man 3 movie. But yeah, despite the fact that I do enjoy elements of Spider-Man 3, I am personally way more satisfied with this version of Venom that we got in Marvel's Spider-Man 2. And alongside of that, we also got some concept art of the sequence where Mary Jane becomes Scream, or as it's shown here, is instead a Venomized version of MJ, which is pretty darn cool considering that it was already previously confirmed by the creative director of Marvel Spider-Man 2 himself, a Brian Intihar, that it was always within Insomniac's plan that they were going to give MJ a symbiote so that she could fight Peter, and that there were also plans to make a fully Venomized version of Sandman. And if that doesn't make make Marvel Spider-Man 2 sound even more like Web of Shadows 2.0, then I don't know what will. But given what we got in the final product, I was absolutely mind blown when MJ became Scream. And that entire sequence in and of itself is easily one of my favorite moments throughout the entire game. But on the flip side, we do have other pieces of concept art here, which do showcase complete sections within the game's story that were cut completely, as well as various gameplay assets which were never used. The biggest takeaways being is that we almost got a total symbiote invasion which took place in the Daily Bugle, which I personally think would have been awesome to see how JJ would have reacted to getting attacked by symbiotes, it also would have been cool to get a much more grounded perspective towards the symbiote invasion altogether. Because even though I did thoroughly enjoy the third act of Marvel Spider-Man 2, I do think that the overall symbiote invasion aspects of the game should have lasted just a bit longer in order to make it that much more impactful. But Nonetheless, this is where we arrive to the coup de grace of all these unused concept images for Marvel Spider-Man 2, where this particular concept art image was made specifically by Daryl Mandrick, who, if you don't know, is a freelance concept artist working in video games for the past 20 years, where most notably is that he's still currently working on projects for both Insomniac and Gunfire games. And for the case of Marvel Spider-Man 2, is that Daryl ended up working on a lot of the symbiote 
symbiote and venom stuff for the game. But without a shadow of a doubt, the biggest highlight to come from Daryl's portfolio for Marvel Spider-Man 2 has to go to this image right here. Where as you can clearly see is that Daryl ended up creating an entire spreadsheet of various attack moves that Venom could use within the game. And hot damn, let me tell you that every single one of these looks flat out badass. Now considering that Venom himself is indeed playable within Marvel Spider-Man 2, it only makes sense that Insomniac and their artists would try and make various attack moves for Venom in order to thoroughly flesh out his moveset. Where to go over all these attacks in detail, we do have a giant claw swipe, a double tentacle hammer fist, a giant bite move which was easily ripped right out of Marvel vs. Capcom, a tentacle ball which does seem fairly similar to what we already ended up receiving for Black Suit Spider-Man in the game, which would seemingly allow for Venom in this case to easily escape, engage, or plow right through his enemies. But moving on to the attack that I find the most interesting for Venom is apparently a scrapped skinny form, which not only would have allowed Venom to stretch out in order to fit through gaps, but apparently it would have also given him a stealth mode. And by god, simply imagining a stealth mode on a character like Venom is easily one of the most horrifying things I could have ever possibly thought of. Imagine being a group of bad guys in a dark alley when all of a sudden you see this giant goddamn hulking monster behind you taking you out in the shadows. And if we ever end up seeing this standalone Venom game come to life, then I would love to see a stealth mode be featured one way or another. Now for the final two Venom attacks within this concept art, we do have a ranged incapacitator move, which just like the tentacle ball does seem fairly similar to what we already received with the symbiote punch ability on Black Suit Spider-Man. And last but not least is an utterly devastating double car fist smasher move, which is fully accompanied by an even more giant sized version of Venom. Now yes, this could have all just as easily been a lot of phenomenal concept ideas that Insomniac had for Venom when they were directly developing his overall moveset for Marvel Spider-Man 2 and that one simple level alone. But on the other hand, I think it would be absolutely insane if Insomniac didn't somehow utilize all these ideas to their maximum potential and letting Venom's moveset and his own dedicated narrative thrive in his own standalone game. In fact, I even publicly posted this image online and stated that it would be awesome when these scrap symbiote moves from Spider-Man 2 PS5 are saved for Insomniac's standalone Venom game. And wouldn't you know it, Daryl Mandrick himself ended up liking my tweet. And if that doesn't show that these artists clearly want to make a Venom game, then I don't know what will. Given the fact that Insomniac already decided to make Venom a completely playable character within the base game of Marvel Spider-Man 2 tells me that they are clearly not done with this character by a long shot. And trust me, if we end up receiving a standalone spin-off Venom game in a similar scope to what we saw with Marvel Spider-Man Miles Morales, but then decides to turn things on its head and make it akin to that of Radical Entertainment's prototype game, then I will without a doubt be buying that masterpiece of a game day one. And who knows, because if that Venom game ends up happening, then hopefully we might end up receiving that long-awaited rematch between Venom and Wolverine. But until we find out exactly what Insomniac is cooking up next, is that that's the video I have for all you today and please let me know all your thoughts in the comment section down below. What do you think of this insane Venom concept art and do you think that it could be teasing towards a future Venom spin-off game? Let me know what you think, be sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel if you did enjoy and for more Marvel Spider-Man 2 and Marvel games videos like this in the future. Thank you all so much for watching, stay spectacular Spidey fans, and until next time, peace out.